Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Daily Dose. Uh, you know, it's funny, I was just on Facebook, and uh, not that I don't spend a lot of time on Facebook, actually, but today I was on Facebook, and I was actually wanking, okay? I was actually complaining on Facebook that it was $379 to register my truck in the state of California. $379. Now, when I was in Florida, it was about 40 bucks to register a truck, and uh, they don't have any state taxes, they don't have any state income tax, right? You come out here to California, but they tax you on everything, man. I mean, look, you go down and buy a 12-pack of Coca-Cola in the can, and they charge you for the 12-pack, and then they charge you an additional fee, a recycling fee on the aluminum that the cans are made of. <laughs> I mean, just, they get you every angle, you know? And so here I am, just wanking and complaining, to put it up there, 379 to register a truck. And as I got to thinking about it, I just started laughing because you know what? I chose to live here. <laughs> That's the really funny part. And as I thought about that, I thought, you know, isn't that just human nature? We like to express our dissatisfaction sometimes with our circumstances. But I want you to know that I didn't have to live in California. I could have stayed in Virginia. I could have moved back to Florida. I could have moved back to Texas, where I'm originally from. There's a whole host of places I could have lived other than California. It's not like somebody put a gun to my head and made me live here, and then when I got here, I found out all of a sudden it was expensive, right? Everybody knows it's expensive to live in California. So the reason why I bring this up is because it drives home the point that each and every one of us are where we are, who we are, and what we are because of the decisions that we have made. No one has put you where you are. No one has made you who you are. And you know what's fantastic about that? Is that when we begin to accept responsibility and admit to ourselves that we are who we are and what we are and where we are because of decisions we have made, then suddenly we become empowered to make different decisions. All of a sudden now, I don't have to live in California. If it really bothered me all that bad, I could pack my stuff and leave. Because, see, I have the power to make those decisions. Isn't that great? And here's what else it does. When you begin to realize that everything in your life is a product of decisions that you have made, good or bad, then you begin to realize that not only can you make different decisions, take your life in a whole new direction, but you really can't complain. You really can't complain. Now, we will anyway, because we're human beings and... Sometimes that's what we do, right? Now, I was only kind of jokingly writing that up there, but the reason why I did it is because I just got done filling out my California registration online and paying for it, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, right? But if you understand that your whole life is a product of your decisions, then now you get to make different ones, if you so choose. And... You can't really complain about where you are because you're there because you chose to be. And you know what's great about that? Your whole perspective on your world will begin to change when you stop complaining about your circumstances. You can't really complain about them if you realize and understand and accept that you're there because you decided to be. And so instead of wanking, you can just make new decisions and take your life anywhere in the world you want it to go. It's the most empowering feeling in the world. So think about any circumstance that you have, good or bad, and ask yourself, how did you get there? You know, if you work 60 hours a week and you hate it, ask yourself, did you apply for that job? Did you accept that job when it was given to you? You know, if you are in bad health and you don't feel well, ask yourself, did you eat poorly? Did you avoid exercise? Did you eat too much salt, drink too much alcohol? Whatever the case might be. And, and if you just ask yourself these questions, of course the answer always comes back that, yeah, you're where you are because you chose to be. Now, sometimes terrible, terrible things happen to us that are completely outside of our control. And I understand that, right? And so I won't say that if, you know, someone, you know, uh, God forbid something terrible happened, like someone set arson to your house or something. I mean, you know, I'm not talking about those kinds of things, okay? Those kinds of things are, are, there are things that do happen in life that are outside your control. But for the most part, all of the circumstances that surround you in your life are of your making. And man, if we can get that deep down inside, we can accomplish anything in the world that we want to accomplish. So understand that you truly are the Michelangelo of your life. You truly are the captain of your ship. With both hands planted firmly on the wheel, you can take this vessel anywhere you want it to go. And now you're empowered to go out tomorrow and make it a great day.